Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm right out here outside the Cheltenham Post Office, U.S. Post Office, and directly in front of me is the legendary, beautiful Linwood Hall. Sadly, as I cross the street, that is the closest I will be able to get to the building. As I zoom in really close, you can see there is a rather heavy door on the front. If you look up high, you can see the immaculate drawings and the ocular window. Hourglass adorning the top. And you can see, as opposed to the Ionic at Linwood Hall, there are Corinthian columns. Above there, it looks like, I don't know what that is. I hear in the, the background dogs. It sounds to me like there are dogs guarding the building now. I hear them barking. Seems kind of cruel to keep animals in there where nobody goes. But apparently the property is protected by guard dogs. Um, Spring Avenue literally was right over there. Spring Avenue is the... Uh, Spring Avenue is actually the uh, main road leading in to the hall. And it looks like windows are actually being propped open at some point there are sticks out there and it looks like the front windows over the grand hall actually are open and have screens in them as you can see so very interesting very very interesting that's a, a rickety old flagpole there don't want to trespass on the land obviously and as you can see there in the front is the um, the stone pillars or the a similar um, walkway to the gardens there or a similar um, lead up to the gardens as you can see there would have been a huge garden in front and where that flagpole is there would have been a huge fountain I don't know that I need to danger or risk going across the street. Um, but as you can see, if you remember at White Marsh, we saw um, those portico areas. And you can see right there, over the top, you can see what those would have looked like. And they lead out um, onto the top of like what would be a lookout where you could have parties. The side sections of the building were initially closed off by the theological seminary who couldn't afford to keep the building open. And you could see on the sides, you can hear the barking in the background. So uh, yes, there are dogs on the property. They're probably not very happy campers. Now there were cars parked on the other side of the fence. Um, this is a seven foot high fence and this is the original fence that goes along the side here. This is a, an original fence to the building about a hundred years, over a hundred years old, leading all the way around. And we'll stop at some of the gates along the way. But there she is, Linwood Hall. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're now on the side of Linwood Hall, off of Hidden Lane. This is a dead end street. But as you can see, we are right here on the corner of Linwood Hall. You can see that says Tokyo House on the side of the truck for a church. And you can see the sides of the building. The similar pillars up on top are the, the pegs. And you can see this was added later, probably by the Theological Seminary as a fire escape to the building. Or improved, I would guess. I'm going to walk down the way a little bit to get out of the way of the trees. But you can see there's... A, High tension lines and everything. It's unfortunate, very well protected. You can't see inside the building. You can't see anybody moving around. 
This mansion was 110 bedrooms. And was the home of A. Uh, Peter A. B. Widener, the patriarch of the Widener fortune. Again, the same, uh, the very, very same um, situation. Very, very same uh, house. It seems to me down here. Looks like there might be a gatehouse down here. It says for sale by owner. Maybe the original gatehouse to Linwood Hall is actually for sale. That would be interesting. Gate section, the theological seminary and the gatehouse in the background. Sorry, I'm doing this as a drive-by. There was no place to pull over. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like there are signs of life on this property. Um, Interestingly, if you look, I'm going to go across the street really quick, not to trespass, but there is a riding mower right outside there, as you can see. Very close there. This looks like it was one of the guard houses. And off to the side, if I keep walking, you'll see there's actually, or there is, Another riding mower. This one looks to be in a little bit better shape. And on the other side of this big tree from the original gardens is a car. Now a car with a tarp over the top of it. But it is a car. Interesting. Looks like there's something in that building there. Cool, very, very cool. Just standing at one of the main gates to Linwood Hall right here. It's one of the main entrance gates. It looks like there's a, this is the one that is most probably used by the caretaker that lives in that house. There are additional buildings that are built on here. You could kind of see in the distance there's a guard house. I don't know how people got pictures of the statues in the woods that were so close. I don't know if they're down over here. I'm gonna explore at Linwood Gardens over here and see if the statues are over here in the woods up to the main portico. I believe so, but this is uh, off of Spring Avenue. Spring Avenue and um, Ashbourne Avenue here in Cheltenham Township. I'm gonna go back into uh, Linwood Gardens just to see, but this is one of the end columns. Not as impressive as Stonesbury's estate, but at least the house itself still exists, even if this is as close as I, I will get at this point. Very interesting, I'm about to pull out of Linwood Hall here, but I drove down where I think the statues are in the gardens, and I found some people actually working. See, they're gardening over there. They don't speak English. I tried to talk with the man in the blue shirt. He doesn't speak English, and he very clearly grabbed a sickle-looking object, like he was gonna um, defend himself or the land. Very scary stuff. There are also people up over the hills over here in these woods, hanging out. So... If you want to trespass here, I wouldn't recommend it. Beware. Looks like there are gardens and it seems like they have a small army of people protecting the well, house. Well folks, I know I promised the next um, stop would actually be the main estate, but on the way down or up to the main estate, which is literally just up this residential road here, or where it was, um, is actually the um, another stone pillar, probably just um, blocking off water runoff but this is a complete stone wall, obviously. There's no, on the other end, it wasn't cut off. I would imagine there was a bridge or something here. Um, also up the road, we're gonna stop one more time. There is actually a really interesting front yard where there's a statue from the mansion still in there. So, or in, their, in that person's front yard. So, or what's left of a statue. So we're gonna do that and then we'll head up to the main house.